So I noticed something today. What I found out during this week was in my door-to-door -door journey, door-to-door -door process of going door knocking, uh, clearly, and getting rejected a lot, and struggling and hating it and resisting it and showing up inauthentically and trying to be authentic and you get what I mean. Um, I noticed when I would work with my coach and tell him what was going on for me and how many hours I was knocking, I was slightly manipulating my answer. He would say, how long did you knock today? And I'd be like, oh, four hours, when really it was like three. And the next day, oh, how many uh, doors you knock? Oh, like, you know, 30, when really it was like 22. And I did that because I wanted him to see me as a certain way, like seem greater than I was versus me just being great. And uh, what this cost me was a little bit of an, you know, self confidence integrity that revolve around something I was afraid of, something I'm, I was resistant to because I wasn't good at it. Uh, it was costing me my authenticity. And what I've noticed recently is a lot of my life, um, I mean, I was with a girl for a very long time, as some of you may know, that uh, I think it should have ended much sooner. I should have ended it much sooner. And I kind of developed this way of being where imagine you're at an arcade and there's a game, it's a racing game, right? And there's the whole like booth where you sit in the chair with the steering wheel and you're driving this car. I had kind of been living my life in this perspective of a third person view of my reality. What do I mean by that? Is kind of Taylor was removed from what's actually showing up, removed from reality. And up until this last week when I came clean with my coach and I shared with him through an embarrassing way that I kind of hadn't been delivering the hours I had said I had been fully delivering uh, in excellence, it's almost like I just came to the driver's seat. So no longer I'm in this third person steering wheel view of overlooking Taylor and what's going on and uh, saying things and being a way to where I'm removed from it. But all of a sudden I'm saying what's real and I'm saying what I believe and whatever's coming out of me and what I'm expressing and showing is totally real and totally tailored. And it's weird to say because I don't know if this is just me this happens for or if anybody else is out there that's doing this, but um, I just wanna say I feel a lot better and I feel a lot um, more authentic this last week, more than I ever have in the last couple years. And it's weird because it's just the way I was operating. It was the way I was living, it seemed natural to me and it was the way I kept my spirit and kept my emotions safe by hiding through this front of an image or saying things, doing things, but not really be committed to what I was saying, not really believing totally the words, like I was saying the words, but if they didn't work, I was detached from them. So therefore I didn't get hurt internally or emotionally. So that's what this week was. Um, so I feel a lot better and um, I'm excited because I think it's really gonna translate into doors, my relationships, my life to just really amp everything up because uh, I just feel totally present. I feel um, so much more grounded in reality and I'm gonna say what I feel and feel what I say and I'm just gonna be okay with that. So that's this week, guys. Hope you're having a great week. Hope you're crushing it. Hope you're being real. And I hope whatever's going on for you, you're really voicing because just know people love that shit. People love when you're real. People love the truth. And so many of us hide and hold back what's really going on for us in a way to protect ourselves in a way that we think protect others. When the truth of the matter is, if we just come clean and really express what's going on for us, it works and people love it. So do that and I'll see you next week.